Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and we have a new knife from Real Steel. Now, this is the Luna Boost. This one's been out for a little while. It's made it into a lot of my videos, so it is a really nice little jet knife. It comes actually originally in a slip joint version. This is the titanium frame lock version that you have a removable thumb disc that you can get, and you can have it on or, you know, take it off and then two-hand open it. You know, it's up to you. But awesome, awesome knife. Like I said, I have many videos, or it's been in many videos, including a full review. Now, this... Is a new budget knife from Real Steel. And just to show you a little bit of their catalog really quick, here are some of their knives. And I really haven't tried, uh, there's a lot of these I have not tried and I'd really love to get my hands on them. Um, I've tried a few, like right now I do have this guy right here. I have the Indiana Knives exclusive version. Awesome, awesome knife. I do really, really like this one a lot. M390, micarta, and a titanium frame lock. But there's quite a few here I have not tried. This is the one I really, really, really want to try. But I've definitely tried the Metamorph and uh, this guy right here. But all the rest, um, I don't believe I have really tried. So let's take a look at this new guy. It is a new budget knife from them. And you can see you get a nice little cloth in here, nice box, nice, nice packaging and presentation. But this is a G10 deep carry Looks like a reversible clip. I'm guessing it's reversible. Seems pretty easy to just take off that screw and flip it over to this side. And let's give it a flip or flick. Nice flicking action. Beautiful blade shape. I personally really love this blade shape. It's... You can call it a drop point, but in my opinion, it's it's almost a spear point. It's very, very close. You can see the spine and the edge basically do the same thing down to the tip, but the tip does seem like it is a tiny bit higher than the, the center of the pivot. But beautiful swedge on top. I love that swedge. It helps bring some strength down to the tip. So it's going to be really good at piercing and opening things up you know, and whatever you need to use your the tip of your knife for, you know, drilling holes, things like that. The grind looks beautiful. Nice satin finish on this VG10 blade. I guess I should have said that already. VG10. And it is an Avon D. Brigonitz design. I probably torched that, but <laughs> I gave it a try. Anyways, VG10 steel. Seems like it has a decent grind on it, kind of the happy medium um, thickness where it's not too robust, but it's also not really thin. Seems like it'll cut really good. And the ergos on this are really, really nice in the hand. It has a very nice neutral grip to it. Well done, G10. Nice and grippy. But just the shape of it, the thickness, you know, how broad it is, it fits the hand very, very well. Now, one thing I'm really impressed with is this jimping. I think this jimping is very well done. This is the kind of jimping I like to see on knives because it actually works. It's very effective jimping. While not being painful, it just offers the exact amount of traction you want. And it's extremely effective. Sharpening choil, uh, I wish they would have brought the plunge grind back a little bit, but it's not horrifying, but it definitely could be a little bit better. But not a big deal. You you can get a couple good sharpenings on it before you'll hit the, the plunge grind. The, what they have as an access lock, I'm not sure the name that they're calling theirs, but it has a nice little tactile feel to it. You can see it does have some texturing on it, and that makes it very easy to disengage the lock. And it is on washers, but very smooth. Thumb studs work great. And the thumb studs are small, but they look like they're removable. So you could possibly add bigger thumb studs if you really wanted to. But these are very effective. And, you know, you have this nice little placement to get your finger all the way, all the way down to the thumb stud and pop it out. So 
it does work pretty good. Now you see we do have this fuller there. Now the fuller does work. It didn't like right at first I couldn't get it. Like I was just doing, you know, basically just popping it out. But the more I've sat here and messed with it, um, the better I can. I do have to give it a little pop of the wrist, but it's pretty easy with a little pop of the wrist if I'm not fumbling it. But I can do it reliably with the flick of the wrist so it's not the best fuller in the world and access locks don't offer you a good detent you know it's kind of spongy so the thumb studs are going to be the way to go but with the thumb studs you can reverse flick it and it works very very well so thumb studs are the way to go and the fuller is just kind of there for show but it does look good it adds a little something to the blade and it is attractive on the inside we do have heavy milling, lots of milling, so it does bring down the weight. And the it's very compact, so it seems like it will be a great carry. This does look like a very, very uh, nice clip. It seems like a clip that will slip in and out of the pocket really good. I'm not sure about that ramp. That ramp might be a little low, but in what I'm... Eh. Yeah, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Seems like it's a very small ramp. I have no problem changing that if I need to. I could just give it a little tiny bend right there. Just bend it up a little bit. But, you know, and that won't be an issue. So we'll see how it works the way it is. And if I have to do any type of change to it, I'll show you what I did. And I'm sure it'll be very, very simple. Something anybody can do right at home. Stainless steel liners and... It is rock solid, no play, any direction, very, very solid. I'm very happy to see that. And it is very smooth, but it's not going to be like a fall shut action. You do have to give it some, some wrist to shut it, but when you do, it does shut all the way. And I can feel it getting smoother and smoother every time I flip it. But this is only the second or third time I've really opened it up and played with it and messed with it. So... You know, this is only a first impressions. I have not tested the edge. I have not tested the geometry. I have not sharpened it. I have not put it through the paces yet. But we will do that. And we shall see how this actually is over time and how it breaks in. Because a lot of access lock knives, over a week, they just get better and better and better and better and better. So I'm hoping to see that from this knife. I'm hoping throughout the next week it just improves and only makes me like it more and more. The the lockup when I it's a little quiet, but eh, maybe it's not too bad. It does lock right in place without any struggle. Even when I slow roll it, I like to find out, like, make sure the lock engages even when you're slowly doing it. And it does very nicely. So the lock engagement seems very strong. It seems like it's a solid knife. I like the blade shape quite a bit. VG10 is a decent steel, and it's going to have good stain resistance while having pretty decent edge retention. Not too bad. Pretty similar to, like, OS10, if you know OS10 pretty well. Um, N690 steels like that. So that's about the edge retention you should uh, expect from it. Now, the heat treat is another story, but I have no doubt that they didn't do a decent job with it. The edge feels very, very good. It definitely came with it a really, really good good edge to be honest like surprisingly good so they did an incredible job with this edge for a factory edge very surprised on that one um great job real steel you did a good job with the factory edge a lot of factory edges are crap this one seems like it's pretty good i can't speak for it how it's going to be burnt or not but it's definitely very sharp and see it feels like it's very well done um, but yeah, all in all, the one thing though, is that it does have this hardware. Now, is that a big deal? Not really. You can just use a flathead screwdriver. I'm not sure if they offer a bit. I'm sure they do. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not positive, but it's just a flathead. That's what I would use is just a short, stumpy, small flathead. And I think it would be just fine. But I know a lot of people like to see torque bits, but in this case, we don't have torque bits, but it's this isn't that big of a deal. You know, when they start getting to ridiculous shapes and, you know, things like that, then, you know, 
it gets a little bit harder to to handle but in this case this is something anybody can handle at home with a flathead as long as it's a small flathead awesome knife though gonna have to test it out and see how it does throughout a few weeks of you know use and see how the steel holds up to heat treat the edge and sharpening and you know just carry and see how this thing breaks in but there you guys go i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace